Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a big smile on my face because I just made a really cool black and white ring pour on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And now I want to do it again with gold. And I'm not going to use my mica powder in case you want to know. Those of you who follow me know that I usually use my gold mica powder, but it's pretty hot outside. So I went ahead and I mixed some other gold. And I'm thinking about whether I want white in there or not. I really want to see what my gold looks like. Here's my gold mica powder, just because we want to know. And it'll probably sink away to nothing or become very runny. But either way, we got a little bit in there so we can tell. And I'm going to do the combination I was talking about of black, white, and gold. And on the black and white one I just did, I did a, a wide variation on um, how much of each color was in each ring. And it's hard for me to know. It's been a long time since I played with the black and the gold. So I'm not really sure what's going to sink away and what isn't. But I am sure I didn't really have quite enough paint last time really tempted to throw another one of those mica powder gold rings in there. So I think I will. And then maybe when I put the ring put the ring pour down on the canvas, I might not um I might not just do one ring. I might do more than one ring. I got stuff in my paint today. And I am going to go ahead and think that I must be very close to what I need to have cover that canvas and also if I'm not I'm going to do what I just finished doing which is add some other paint and use an edge catcher which I want to make sure I have right now from my edge catcher collection there we go so I'm ready with an edge catcher the last one was a little on the small side and I got paint all over me because of it the edge catchers are the protective layer in an artist loft 16 by 20 value pack of canvases that comes from Michaels and um, I cut them sometimes and usually in half and I'm just gonna go for this I've got everything I need I think except for I said I was gonna do something different so I am gonna do something a little different Hopefully I can get my paint to come out of the bottle without too many lumps. I thought I saw a lump in there. Sticking my fingers in there is necessary. <laughs> yes, I did not wobble it as much as I wanted to. By adding extra paint, I think it's going to solve my problem of not enough paint. Not that I really am sure that I'm going to have not enough paint, because it kind of seems like I am going to have enough paint. Hopefully, I have enough layers. Looks like I got more than enough paint. Let's just go for it. What do I have left that I need to fill a little space with. I see that lizard over there. You can't, but I can. Oh, I just want to put some right in the middle of the white and see what happens. Let's do that. I should do it with the black, too. Let's do that. <laughs> and then last time, I scraped my cup out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, okay. So we have a strange number of rings and it's definitely not one. I see there's some nice cells in here. I am just gonna add all of that paint right there into that particular ring because I hate wasting paint and I don't think that I'm gonna be using it on my edges. Although you never know. I do scrape my edge, edge catchers off very thoroughly. I have a nice deep bucket to put my measuring cups into to get my stuff out of the way. I might hit this briefly with a torch. 
my uh, my paint mixture has golden product in it called GAC 800 to keep paint that's thick from cracking. And the rest of it, after I add that 20% to color, the rest of it is 50-50. Yep, I'm right about the, the mica powder, but um, it might make things really interesting. It's a lot runny. <laughs> I've got some little bug deciding the back of my legs is a good place to hang out. Not not just not all right so <laughs> go away little bud this might be cool anyway that's what i get for experimenting it's very liquidous i don't really want any of that going anywhere right now and it's nice that it's covering more easily maybe it's that i have a lot more paint than i had last time What I really liked last time was adding the black paint solidly along one edge, tipping my canvas, which since my paint is in the center there, I should be able to throw right back in. Yep, just like I was hoping. And what now? Maybe do something similar with the white over here along that edge. It's a different kind of ring pour. What can I say? Hopefully I can get away with it. Tip my paint down so it pulls where that white went and throw it right back on and hope we get, no, we didn't get any of that white back. Wow, that's strange, huh? Okay. Well, I'm still enjoying what I'm seeing, but I want black over here now. I don't want my glasses on my face. Um, I also want to do this right over here, because I like the black along this edge, and I want to make sure I can keep it. Do I want? Yeah, I do. I want that black right there. Maybe I'll tip it down. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and push that right in there. Without changing anything too awful much. Yeah, I like all that. I know if I tip it, it's going to change it. I wonder how dry this is. I don't really want to uh, put too many fingerprints along my edges. Question is, can I tip all that and still get some black back? I guess we'll find out together. Big pull. And big squeeze back. And I know if I want, whatever I want to keep, I better just add paint because I don't really think that I'm going to be able to, um... Boy, that's moving so nicely. Do I want that to be black? Not really. I kind of want it to be white, which means the only way to get that white to stay white is to add the white to it. I'm going to pull that right over to the edge. Use my knot too schmutzy finger yet to do exactly what I said with a clean spatula. Just pull that paint right over the edge, and dab it into place with my finger. Be really happy at this point in time that I have um, the GAC 800 in here because this is some thick stuff. It's also early days as far as being able to create patterns so um, the sooner I torch more likely I am to get something that I like. So I'm going to give that a shot in a second. I have a little gap right here that I don't want. Whoops, now i got a little white right there that is about to become part of everything. It's going to be a heart. Actually, I can do that with whatever I want, as you can see. And 
what do I want to do? Do I want to bring some of that down? I do. I'm going to be a little careful about how much white I have on my skewer. Hope you can see that. You may not be able to. I think I need some more black. Oh, whoops! <laughs> oh wow! Okay. That's a rare occur occurrence. Like, I don't think I've ever splooged right off the canvas with a huge bottle of paint before. I'll find a use for it. I guarantee it. I think right there is a good place. Might as well use it up, right? For whatever reason, I am inspired to add some of that black right here. Black and white often sells together, so it's not much of a chance that it'll be interesting. Pretty sure it will be interesting. Gotta make up my mind what else I want to do, if anything. Really just, wow, there's a lot of black right there. <laughs> a lot of black, and I can't pour it off. So I guess what I want to do since I can't pour it off, is spatula it off. I hope my spatula doesn't have too much white paint on it. But the rest of that looks pretty cool. I kind of want to do some stuff though. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is use my black paint. And some white paint. Maybe some gold paint too. Let's see what happens if I fill this in over here. I really just want to tip that down there so bad. But then I'm going to have to tip it back again too. And it's going to of course change the whole composition. You knew that was coming. I got like way too much paint on this canvas, but I'm loving what I've got, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna waggle. And we'll see tomorrow what it comes out like. I think I need to have some white down here in this corner. And I've got plenty of paint on my edge catcher. Black and white and gold. So, I'll make a nice gray mix over there. It'll be what it'll be. It just won't be black, which was my, in, my goal. So, do I like it as much as the last one? I'm not sure yet at all. It makes me want to do stuff. Playful stuff. Like, fun, playful stuff, because I like that. That's cool. So much for my white corner. Well, half spatula will drag. <laughs> that sounds like a car joke. Not really. <laughs> sounds like a weird joke. Okay. Well, it's not, uh, it's not what I thought it was going to be, but it's still cool. I found a lump. Wow. So what else? Do I want to put some chain in there and see what happens? Kind of do. I got some really cool stuff going on in here, I gotta say. I want to dip my bamboo skewer in and drag it somewhere else and compose. And that is kind of fun, the composing part. I'm really liking that. Wow. Agitated paint will often sell, and that reminds me, we have really not tried to sell anything. I do sell my paintings, though. <laughs> that was a weird segue. Cool. Anyway, um, I have a book. 
on the Amazon link below the video called Because I Can. And I would love to share it with you guys. Everybody who's read it so far seems to be pretty happy. And uh, that's on the Amazon link where you can also find the OXO omelet turning spatulas and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. And yes, I'm having too much fun officially. And I like all of that. I wonder what it's going to dry like. We torch to release bubbles in the paint from when I shake or mix, however you do your paint. And they just incidentally will, more often than not, release little cells and patterns in the paint because of the because of the deco or pouring medium Floetrol mix I add to my paint half and half. So I'm not sure if I'm seeing a little bit of that mica powder down there, but I'm glad that I used more than one gold, even though it made it very much too runny in my opinion. I got some really, really pretty stuff happening in here. I don't know if you guys can see all of it or not. I got 34 seconds left to tell you to check underneath the video for the description of the paint pouring recipe. And under that, you will find my Pinterest and my Instagram links, along with Facebook albums, where if you go to Facebook, you will find Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors. If you join that group, you'll be able to see all of the posts I added to the volumes one, two, and three. I could just keep diddling with this for quite a while and have way too much fun. So I love you guys. There's over 60,000 of you. There's two minutes left for me to tell you that I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill in the studio. Indoor lessons, not outdoor lessons. That's got to go. Um, cross your fingers for me that this dries as good as it looks now because uh, a lot of changes are going to happen because this paint is super, super thick. It's highly unusual for me to have such super thick paint. I know there's stuff I'm forgetting to tell you guys. Um, please give me a thumbs up. It helps the placement of my videos on YouTube so that more people can see them. And the same thing for giving me um, your eyeballs. <laughs> yes, if you watch more of the video, you're a big assistance to me. If you would like to join a contest by contributing to help support the studio, thank you to everybody who's contributed in the past, by the way, for uh, con helping me continue paint. Um, by contributing, I send you a receipt that tells you what this month's contest winning artworks are. Whoever's name is drawn when I announce the date will uh, get something shipped to them. They'll get to choose usually, although I'm thinking about putting the black and the gold and the black and the white up. Anyway, I'm sure I'm still forgetting stuff, but um, I'm so distracted by how pretty this is that I'm pretty happy. And, and I gotta stop messing with it because I'm worried that I'm gonna screw it up. Anyway, I love you guys. There's more than 60,000 of you. Keep watching. I'll see you in the next video. The end screens at the end of this video will have a playlist of fluid acrylic artworks and that will be able to show you up to 600. Yes, I need to do it. 600 more videos and the more you watch, the more you help me out. If you can't help me out any other way, that is a huge help. Just watch some videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye for now. Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, Priscilla out. See you soon.